I have dandruff. Dandruff. <laughs> Well, loose leaf rosemary and tea tree oil may help. Wait, you remember to cool it down first, right? Uh... Ah! Forget those natural options. Try this zinc pyrithion and selenium sulfide infused shampoo for dandruff. Clinical strength. But dandruff shampoo exacerbates the condition. Mid! But I'm turned off by some formulas as they have a reputation for stripping color from the hair. Mid! According to Head and Shoulders Dandruff Shampoo, biased, when a person has dandruff, there are many things going on in the microscopic level. Our body constantly needs to renew our skin cells, and the old ones need to be. First, the Molestia bulbosa will start to feed on the sebum in the hair. Once it starts to feed on it, the scalp will start to become continually less moisturized. As the sebum is broken down, it starts to form oleic acid as well. One in two people are sensitive to the oleic acid and therefore their scalp may become irritated and itchy. Um, yeah, and inflamed. So in an attempt to shed the irritant, <laughs> the scalp will start to shed skin cells as much at a much more rapid pace than usual. The dead cells will start to clump together like a growing pile of trash, which soon causes the visibility of flakes. And now, winter is coming. Common side effects of dandruff shampoo include mild skin itching or irritation, dry skin, abnormal hair texture, scalp pustules, oiliness and dryness of hair and scalp, rash, hives, application site reactions, or headache.